I'm the third man to get a warning like that. And I'm the third man that's been burnt out in the... Well, how about me? A couple of horses disappearing now and then wouldn't bother me. But when it's a couple of hundred, that's different. Let me see that. Just as I thought. Exactly like the one left at my place. Johnny Andrews was killed, helping me try to drive him off. Now, what I would like to know is just how much more is Walton going to get away with? What makes you think Walton had anything to do with it? Common sense. He threatened this would happen to me if I didn't sell out to him. Well, Evans here has been after your place, too, hasn't he? Yes, but I wasn't interested. How about the offer I made you for your spread, Morgan? The offer's all right, but I couldn't sell if I wanted to. I'm only running the outfit when my niece gets here. She's the boss. Expect her soon? Sometime next week. I expect she'll wire before she gets here. How much longer is this range war between you and Walton going to last? It's a showdown as far as I'm concerned. I'm calling his hand. Why don't you arrest Walton? I tell you, he's the one responsible. Well, there's not a bit of evidence that he had anything to do with it. I'm tired of missing words. Are you going to do something? Well, I'd like to help you out, Dave, but I... Forget it. Morgan and I'll handle this ourselves. I'm hitting the trail. You coming, Bob? Well, expect a better. But he's probably up to his neck in ham and eggs by now. <laughs> Well, bogged down with food. More coming up in a minute. Good. been pounding leather since long before daylight, rounding up the boys for this meeting. What's the meeting for? Well, your dad's tired of Walton running off stock. Are we going to fight? Looks mighty like it. Gosh, I wish I was bigger so I'd help Pop. Have I done much fighting? What do you think I am? A sissy? You like Batman? Sure. That's the only trouble is, I ain't got any more kids my own size to work on. Boys, there's a whole herd of trouble headed our way. Walton and his sidekicks are driving them. And they figure to stampede the whole bunch right down on us. We've got to step lively to stop them. What do we do? I've already done it. What do you mean? I've sent for Tim Corwin. Corwin? That'll bust things wide open. He's a killer. That's right. This is liable to be a killing business before we're through. Can you get him? He's on his way. That's why I called you fellas to here. We've got to chip in to pay the association fee. What are you doing? Recognize him? Who? Oh. Tim Corwin. Who's he? He's coming out to help Pop fight. Me and him are pals. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. Say, is that a real gun? Yeah, but it won't shoot. Trigger's busted. Say, do you know how to handle a gun? You betcha. Just like Tim. Want to see me? 
chore. Keep off, all of you. Not a move. You got any objection to me taking my time to parting? No, no. You gotta be faster than that, partner. You don't wanna be pushing up Daisy. Whoa, whoa, don't shoot, don't shoot. Pop! When's Kim coming? Your lab will be checking in here most any day, son. You glad? You betcha. <laughs> Trouble brewing, Walton. Why? I just left the meeting. Barry and Morgan sent for Tim Corbin. When's he arriving? All I know is, he's due here most any time. Jim Corwin is headed this way, Langdon. So what? Well, I want him stopped before he reaches the town. Don't worry, that'll be easy. We stop Carwin, we stop everything. What do you say, Jerry? You mean you want me to kill him? Right. I'm wrong. There's a thousand dollars in it for you. You must be thinking of somebody else. Well, it's easy money. I'll be riding hard afterwards. Be sure you make it look like he drew first. Man didn't give Jerry a chance. What's that? It's none of my affair, though. You got anything to say? No. Who are you and where do you come from? He's Tim Corwin. Is that right? Are you Tim Corwin? Yes. What brings you to this part of the country? Business. What kind? I thought it was confidential, but I must have made a mistake. Somebody was expecting me. Why don't we take him out and hang him? That's right. Just a minute, Walton. There's going to be no lynching. You know his reputation. You going to let him ride into town, kill a man, ride out again? You're making a mistake, Walton. I'm not riding away. I'm staying. Any objection? What makes you think I'm interested? Somebody is. Maybe it's you. Are you accusing me? I'm suspecting you and aiming to find the proof. Sheriff, if you look underneath that man, you'll find a gun in his hand. When a man tries murder, there ain't anything in the law to help him when he gets killed. Thanks, Sheriff. If you need me for the inquest, I'll be around. All right, men, let's take him away.
Hello, buddy. Hello, Tim. Hello, Bob. Buddy, you're getting to be a big fella. How are you, anyway? Great. Gosh, I knew something was wrong when I kept knocking them cans off. You'll have plenty of time to learn. Will you learn me? You bet I will. Whose gun is that you have there, son? Yours, Pop. I borrowed it. Oh, you did? Can we start now? Before you start doing any fancy shooting, you've got to learn to empty that gun in two seconds. I can't move my fingers that fast. Well, you have to grease your finger. Huh? Oh. Anything happened since you wired me? No, things have quieted down. Well, they began popping again today. In town. You still that cabin you used to have up in the mountains? Yes. But I thought you'd... Well, I think I'll use it while I'm looking things over. Now, there are a lot of things I've got to know about this situation. Taking my horse around back, son. Yes, What's the matter? I had to run in with Langdon this morning. He drew a gun and I had to shoot him. Walton and his gang have been chasing me for hours. They're liable to be here most any time. What caused it? Well, they were riding me about us sending for Corwin. Did you see Tim in town? No. for that bunch of timber out back. I'll stall them and give you a chance to get away. Now remember, bud, we haven't seen anything of Dave. Count on me, Pop. We want Barry and we've come to get him. Barry? Yeah. We know he's inside, so you better send him out. There's no one here but me and Bud. Go in and see for yourself. All right. Take a look around. What's all the row, Walton? I reckon you know Barry Gunn's Langdon without giving him a chance. How should I know? I haven't been in town in a couple of days. How'd you know where it happened? I don't. You guessed right the first time, huh? <laughs> Nobody inside there. Right. What's the use of fooling with him? He's thrown in with Evans. I'm not in this fight of yours with Evans. I have nothing to do with it. You've had quite a run of hard luck lately, haven't you? Well, it's going to get a heap worse unless you sell. Never mind my hard luck. I'll take care of that. Do you think bringing Corwin in is going to stop it? <coughs> Out of there, Barry, before we start paying off. If you do, you'll get a receipt. Drop those guns. Tim! Hello, buddy. What are you up to now? Ah, oh, heck. I had him covered and was waiting for him to start something. And then I had a sneeze. I'm warning you, Corwin. You're prodding into a hornet's nest. 
That being the case, the next move's up to you. Folks in this part of the country don't oppose me and make it stick. You mean they haven't? I'll get this ranch or eat my hat. And you better get ready for a diet of boiled felt. Or do you prefer your hats fried? They never fail to get what I go after. Well, there's always a first time for everything. Travel along. about that grease. Hmm? What? You know, about greasing your finger to, to make you shoot fast. I tried axle grease, but it didn't work. My finger kept slipping off the trigger. Well, you didn't use the right kind of grease. Well, maybe you're right. All I want to know is, why hasn't Corwin been stopped? The boys have tried. They had him cornered this morning at Ogden. He shot his way out. He killed Art Holden and, uh, say, couldn't we get the sheriff to hold him for murder? Well, we got to figure some way of disposing of him. Right now, the most important thing is to see that he doesn't meet May Carter. What time does she get into town? On tomorrow morning's train. I'll see that she doesn't meet either Morgan or Carl. See that you do. the telegraph office. I've got a wire for you. Yes, that'll be all right. Read it to me. You can send a copy out tomorrow. Yeah? Thanks. Telegram from May. She won't be here tomorrow. Wasn't that telegram she sent from the train? I didn't notice. Just as well she isn't coming right now. Huh. That's funny. I wonder what made her change her mind. Maybe she didn't. You mean this last telegram isn't from her? It's just what I intend to find out. Bob Morgan, haven't you? Why, uh, yes. If you let me have it, I'll save you a trip out to the ranch. I can't give it to you. Why? Telegrams are confidential. And I don't know you. Would my name help any? I'm afraid not. I didn't think it would. There wouldn't be any trouble at all if you had the proper authority. Get that message. Get busy, hurry up. Remember, you're looking for a telegram, not a gun. What's the matter? Can't you find it? Yeah, I just remembered. A couple of the boys were going out past Morgan's place. I gave them the telegram to deliver. It's funny how I forgot that. Very funny. Well, let me have the duplicate. You couldn't have sent that. Yes, sure. Why don't you let me look? I can find it missing lots faster than you can. I must have sent them both out to Morgan's. So you've got an answer for everything, haven't you?
This is the message you read over the phone to Morgan, isn't it? Where'd you get it? Over the wire. How come it's written in pencil? Uh, the typewriter was broken. Sit down. Well, you're right till I tell you. Compelled to change plans. Will not arrive tomorrow. May Carter. Must have ridden one of these with your feet. Where did you get that message? Come on, where'd you get it? Who gave it to you? Walton. The train leaves here in 30 minutes. You be on it. Morgan sent me in for you. My rig's right around the corner, if you please. Get going. Here's Miss Carter. Glad to know you, Miss Carter. How do you do? You boys are jumping to conclusions. Don't you see the young ladies in riding clothes? She probably prefers horseback riding. Sure you're not making a mistake, Corwin? No, and I'm going to make sure Miss Carter doesn't. She's coming with me because, well, because she doesn't like riding in buckboard. I haven't said so. Perhaps if you men would explain to me what this is all about, I'd understand. Corwin, here's a killer. He was brought in to... You'd better let me tell her the rest of that, Sanderson. <laughs> if you go with him, you... I really... wouldn't place too much dependence on what this man says. He's not entirely reliable. Meaning you are? I'll answer that another day. Why did my uncle come to meet me? You dropped into this country in the middle of a range war. Your uncle was busy looking after the ranch. Is that why he sent three men to meet me? He didn't send those other two. They're working for the man that's fighting him. Then how do I know he sent you? Well, that's to take my word for it. You ready to start? Oh, I suppose I'll have to trust you. Are you connected with the ranch? Well, not officially. You're in this country for a definite purpose, aren't you? We seem to be taking a roundabout way to the ranch. 
We're not going to the ranch. Well, what do you mean? Bob, there's a cabin up in the hills. It'll be safer up there. I won't go another step. Are you going to ride like a lady, or will I have to carry you? What have you decided to do? How are you, Walton? Hi. I just dropped by to see if you had convinced your niece to sell. My niece? Isn't she here? No, I don't expect her. Huh. That's funny. Didn't you say that Carwin met her at the railroad station this morning? Yeah, and I heard him say he was bringing her out here. I haven't seen either one of them. Do you know where he could have taken her? I haven't the slightest idea. I wish I did. I'd better report it to the sheriff when I get back into town. I'll handle this myself. I'll show Carr when he can't get away with it. He knows where they are. Why, certainly. I had dinner last night at six o'clock. Well, we can soon remedy that. Well, let's see what we got here now. Here's some beans, pork and beans, string beans, beans with tomato sauce, ketchup beans, navy beans, stringless string beans, and Fried beans. What do you have? Beans. <laughs> With bacon, huh? Well, I can promise you something better for breakfast. There's a stream down below here that's just full of rainbow trout. Sound interesting? How long have you known Uncle Bob? Oh, I've known him a long while. That picture was taken quite some time ago. I'm beginning to believe you're not what I thought you were. But I can't understand why I'll be any safer here than at the range. People don't realize how bitter a range war can be. When two factions are fighting over a piece of land, anything's liable to happen. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Well, maybe this will convince you. Now do you begin to see what we're up against? I never said that. That's what Bob and I thought. Inside there. Are you going to sleep all day?
Be sure and lead Corwin through Canyon Pass. Bob and I have been following your trail all night, and we lost the tracks down below, and I've been circling around to see if I could pick him up again. Corwin saw your uncle coming and shot him. Sheriff's office. Jim Corwin just shot Morgan. What? Yes, he's headed toward Canyon Pass. Hello. 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 Corwin just killed Morgan. He's headed south through Canyon Pass. Bob Morgan's been killed. Weren't you satisfied with running off with his niece? Now, you're not accusing me of the killing. It looks that way. I'm following the man who did it. And while we're standing here talking, he's getting away. Your story don't hold water. Put out your hands, Corwin. Now, I've got work to do that can't be done in jail. Now, toss those guns away. All right, boys, get your guns.
Don't you know you should be in bed this time of night? Somebody has to stand guard. Things have been going to smash since you and Pop. Have you caught the man to kill Pop yet? Not yet. You're going, ain't you? You bet I am. You know I'm accused of killing your dad, don't you? Who said that? The sheriff. Aw, oh, he's dumber than what I thought he was. You don't think so, do you? Heck no! And anybody with any sense wouldn't either. Why, you and Pop were pals! I guess you better knock off and get yourself a little shut-eye. Suits me. I'll get down in the other room so in case anything happens, I'd be handy there. See you in the morning. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Wake up. What are you doing here? I belong here. It's Morgan's kid. Is Corwin here? Gosh, it's too bad you didn't get here sooner. He's gone out to the West Line camp. Think we better head out after him? Yeah, I suppose the kid's lying. Yeah, we'd better have a look. Did you fire that shot? My finger slipped. I, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Listen, fellas, that was no accident. That was a signal. Come on. You two come with me. The rest of you scatter around the house.
Corwin. There he goes. How do you do, Miss Carter? How do you do? You're just the person I want to see. Have you a few minutes to spare? Certainly. Would you mind stepping in my office for a few minutes? Not at all. Sell the ranch? Of course. But I find I'm not able to. Bob signed over his interest to Tim Corwin. And now I find it necessary to get his signature to the deed. I have an idea. I can arrange for that. If you'd write him a note. I won't. Just an ordinary civil little note saying you'd like to see him. He's the last person in the world I ever want to see. And uh, naturally he can't come into town now. He was almost captured out the ranch last night. Have you been in touch with him? Yes, right along. Well, what does he say about killing my uncle? He believes that if he had a chance, he could convince you he didn't do it. Where will I meet him? Uncle's ranch at 5 o'clock this afternoon. I'll be there. Are you all ready, bud? I just as soon not go away and leave you, Tim. You'll be better off in town with Evans to look after you. You sure you'll be able to manage? Well, it'll be tough, but I'll manage. So long, old timer. So long, Dave. You ain't going into Borsters, are you? No, I'll leave him at the outskirts of the town and head back here. I know you're taking an awful chance riding around the country alone and fighting Walton. I was hoping you'd be on the lookout and spot me. Oh, Mr. Evans. How are you, youngster? I was on the way into town taking Buddy to you. This thing is settled. I wish you'd look after him, will you? Sure, I'd be glad to. Like to spend a few days in town? I'd rather stay with Tim. <laughs> you know, you gave Walton or somebody just the chance they were looking for when you took May Carter up to Bob's cabin. I circled back to the cabin, but nobody was there. Where is she? She's at the hotel. She wants to see you. What about? About the ranch. She wants to give you full power of attorney to act for her. Walton's been bothering her to sell. Where does she want to meet me? At the cabin this afternoon at 5 o'clock. If someone else knew of this meeting, you know my chances would be pretty slim. Who else could know about it? Well, you never can tell. 
By the way, if you see Walton in town, I wish you'd tell him... That... No, I'll tell him myself. Come on, bud. Up you go. Think you can amuse yourself for about an hour, Sonny? I'm going to be busy. Sure. Get Sanderson and Porter out to Morgan's cabin early this afternoon. Corwin's going to meet May Carter there at 5 o'clock. Have Sanderson inside, and if the girl gets there first, have him lay quiet until Corwin comes. All right. Tell him you'll get paid for both of them tonight. Inside, I'll get him through the window. And if he isn't, you get him when he comes along. Keep your hands in the air, boys. Drop those guns. of yours. What do you mean? I thought there might be a delegation here to meet me after what happened at the ranch last night. I didn't know they were outside. Who besides Evans knew I was to meet you here? Nobody. Turn around. Keep your hands in the air. And don't move. Sure, bud? I heard him say so himself. Very. Help me tie these fellows on their horses. What are you going to do with them? Turn them over to the sheriff. Then I'm going after Evans and Walton. All right, outside you birds. You're going for a little ride. Don't you think you should let the sheriff handle this matter? You're new to this country. Range wars are something that aren't on the law books. Most of the cases are settled by the coroner. Tim, 
Cousin's a humdinger, ain't he? Gonna marry him, Cousin May? Well, whatever puts that idea into your head? Well, ain't ya? No. Gee, that's great! Well, what's great about it? I was scared he was gonna. You know, a nice looking girl like you would be foolish to marry a man with a reputation like he's got. What's the matter with his reputation? You know, the only reason why he ain't in jail is because the sheriff can't get any deadwood on him. You can't marry a man like that. You better stay here, Dave, in case things don't pan out in town. Sheriff, I've got three men outside I want to turn over to you. Who are they? Three of Walton's men. I'll tell you about it later. Right now, I want to find Evans and Walton. Oh, so you know about them, eh? Know what? That they're the ones that engineered this war so that they could make a cleanup. Yes, I know. I just learned that Walton's the man that phoned me about you killing Morgan. All right, men, take him around the bank. Corwin just brought in Sanders and the others. He turned him over to the sheriff. He's in there now. Go ahead, Walton. I'll cover you. Hey, hold that for me, will you? I'll come back and finish it later. You let
you let me have that telegram, I'll finish it. Sanderson, the others. He turned him over to the sheriff. He's in there now. Go ahead, Walton. I'll cover you. If you let me have that telegram, I'll finish it. It'll be a dollar ten. Congratulations. Thank you. 